Hey guys, and welcome to this Premier League prediction video. We've got a massive one for you today. We've got Cap Gun Tom JCC with his mate Rodinho, also known as Harry. We've got LE96Z and GM players all doing a prediction for who they think is going to win the Premier League, come top four, get relegated, and we have the rest of the table as well. But before we get into this, guys, please do make sure you subscribe if you're new around here, leave a like, turn on the notification bell so you do not miss another upload. But let's get straight into this video. Uh, we are going to start off with Tom's predictions. Uh, so I'll just push you over to Tom now and you can see what he's predicted. Okay, so top four to finish in the Premier League. Um, I think choosing the top four isn't too difficult. Um, unless we see like a Leicester style season and something crazy happens. Um, really, I think that it's going to be Man City that tops it. The strength in their squad and the depth is just ridiculous and i think it will help them or just pull them through the season even if they do pick up a couple of injuries now second third and fourth i'm putting in this bracket liverpool man U, and chelsea i'd like to see man U second as someone who used to support them and still kind of does a little bit loosely um but i'm not sure it's difficult i think we're gonna go liverpool united chelsea that order so Man City, Liverpool, United, Chelsea. That's that's my top four. Bottom three, a bit more tricky. Um, from what I heard, Brentford smashed it in the championship last season. So I'm going to let them stay up. And I'm going to say that we'll be saying goodbye to Norwich, Watford. And, oh, I don't know. Southampton, why not? And as you can see there, they were Tom's predictions. He's gone from Man City to win the league, Liverpool second, Man United third, Chelsea fourth, and he's put Leicester fifth. Uh, you can see the rest of the predictions on his screens. I'll go through a few of the notable ones. So he's put uh, Tottenham to finish in sixth place, Arsenal to finish in seventh, and then obviously just to miss out on relegation for him is Brighton Hove Albion. Next up, we are going to go across to le 96 Zs predictions as well. See if he does any different. Is he going to pick a different winner for the league title? So, my bottom four of my Premier League prediction. I know it's a bit skew whiff all over the place, the boys, but this is this is just my opinion. So, in bottom, I have gone for Southampton. I think with Danny Ings leaving Southampton, and there's a possibility that Ward Prowse might be going as well. I just don't think that they've got the quality to do well this season. In addition to that as well, got Watford down there in 19th. Again, I don't think that they've got the quality to stay up. But Watford, for me, are a massive, massive yo-yo team. They seem to come up, go down, come up, go down. And I know they've got the cycling GK, but I don't think it's going to be enough to keep them up. Moving into the next team as well, Newcastle. I just don't think that the recruitment has been good enough. Now, you've got, obviously, St. Maximin, who could play some part in keeping the team up. But if anything happens to him over the season, like an injury or anything like that, they are up I was going to swear then they're not going to they're not going to be looking good in my opinion and then just outside of the relegation zone is going to be Burnley for me I don't think the recruitment has been good for Burnley and I don't think that Hoofball can save them for much longer I think that they could be a team that could potentially go down moving into my top four in the fourth place I've gone for Chelsea I think that the recruitment this season has actually been pretty decent now to be honest with my top four it's pretty interchangeable besides the top place next up after that is going to be United I think they've made some really really good signings in Jadon Sancho and I do think that towards the arse end of last season they actually did really really well they seem to just have a good overall season they were unlucky in the Europa League as well I thought they played some really really good football and I just think that maybe this season could be a bit of an improvement on last season admittedly I have put them down a place but again I think that all of these places besides the top spot are interchangeable likewise with Liverpool as well I think that they were a bit unlucky with injuries and stuff last season they made the sign of Canate this season which I think could help them out at the back a massive massive amount and I think if they can get ticking again there's no reason why they can't be challenging for the title but there's one team in particular in Man City who I do think are going to absolutely walk the league this year. So that is my Premier League predictions. Let me know what you think, the boys. And they were early 96's predictions, as you can see there. He's also gone with Man City to win the league, Liverpool second, Man United third, and Chelsea fourth. The exact same as Tom, but he's put Leicester fifth, Spurs sixth there, and he's got Arsenal all the way down in 10th. It pains me as an Arsenal fan to see that but honestly I can't really blame him because in my opinion it's going to be a hit or a miss season for Arsenal and at the minute with transfers it is looking like a miss we're now going to move on uh, to the man himself uh, JCC he is joined by Harry as well he doesn't have a video but we do have his audio 
uh, and they're going to talk about their predictions now as well. Well, I just wanted to say, uh, Jamie, you stink shit. Um, so right. Norwich down the bottom, Harry. What do you think about Norwich? Yeah, I think Norwich down the bottom seems fair, mate. I think, you know, they're fucking shit. Yeah, I think with Norwich, they're either going to go down or win it. One of the two, mate. So either bottom or... I what? think Champions League football for Norwich is potentially on the cards. <laughs> I also see them finishing 20th. Champions but... League music, you know. Uh, Southampton are a definite down for me. They lost... They're just shit. And they lost their best player. Well... Who did they just lose? Vestergaard? No, Danny Ings. Well, they've lost Vestergaard and Danny Ings. And so. Ward Prowse is rumoured to join and, Villa. Yeah, so... I just think as well they were shit. Remember, they started last season so well yeah. and they ended up like... They would have been bottom if it, the table had been from like halfway through the season. They were just terrible. So it's they're in trouble. Happened. And Watford, I think that their keeper focuses way too much on vlogging. No, I don't, yeah. I mean, uh, Watford, I just think, again, aren't strong enough. Between Watford and Brentford and Palace for that last play. I don't think they bought anyone, have they, Watford? No Strength one that recognisable. No yeah, yeah, You'd have no to buy, like, Watford. three or four to, for them to... I don't know. Yeah. yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Top four, mate. I mean, I always, we were speaking about this. I think City, Chelsea, or, to an extent, Liverpool, United could win the league this season. But I think City and Chelsea are the big two. Yeah, I, I agree. I think... I don't think Liverpool are getting Champions League. Wow. What do you think, Leicester? I think I think Leicester are going to do it this year and actually push for the... Because I don't know what the fuck happens to Leicester every season, but I think eventually, you know... They might... Every, the stars yeah, will they've missed out last day twice. The, it could yeah. be theirs and they've won three... They won Community Shield and an FA Cup. Yeah, and Liverpool just haven't... They haven't really, like, bought where they need to no like the boy the boy is centre back but I feel like they need more what if what if Trent gets injured what if like yeah yeah Andy, yeah Andy Robertson gets injured well, Andy if, Robertson is injured for a month well, that, well that's yeah. what I mean yeah so he's injured then they've just lost Wijnaldum haven't yeah. really replaced him with yeah. anyone I know they brought Thiago in last season but Wait. it's not it's not good enough you need depth no, I don't. Yeah, I can't see them winning. I don't think they have a big enough squad to win. I don't think they have that momentum push to win it. Maybe the fans back at Anfield will help them a little bit. This is funny though. Ninth, kind of funny. Genuinely I, was tempted to put them lower. I think I think Leeds will finish above them. They're so line. bad. Ben White's just such an average signing. He's a good it's, player, but he's just not like he's not going to turn you. You've still got in that defence so many problems. Louise. Well, well, well haven't they lost Louise? I think he's still... The thing is, uh, like, I just look at Arsenal now and I just think, who cares? Like, I mean, how boring are they? You're going to sign Aaron Ramsdale for 30 million. That is funny. That's the that perfect is... way to end this. That is, honestly, I don't care if Fulham go off as long as that happens. That'll be fucking funny. But why would they buy him? They need a homegrown keeper, but he's 25 million for a fucking backup. And he's... I mean, more importantly, he's fucking terrible. I know, but like backup keepers, like what? Is it that important? You're not even playing Champions League or Europa League. Like you don't need backup keeper. You know what I mean? Like it's not like you're gonna rotate that yeah. much. <laughs> yeah, you're crap, Jamie. Is my point. Your team's terrible. And I think nine is generous. I think they finish eleventh. You think eleventh? All right. Well, have that, Jamie. Put that in your little YouTube video. I bet I gave yeah, about put... 10 mil subs from this. Thank you to my my uh, my mate Johnny P here for helping out. Cheers, Johnny. Yeah, man, no worries, dude. Huge from you. It's actually KSI. It is. Put it in the title, what? Nobles, I'd say. Also, Jamie, uh, I just want to say, you stink. Cheers for that, Harry. Let me know I stink. I do appreciate that. But that is their predictions. Bit of a controversial one from Harry saying he doesn't think Liverpool really have a chance at top four. Um, but you know it is what it is that is his prediction but John's won there as you can see on screen Man City to win the league same as everyone else he's put Chelsea second the first person to put Chelsea in the top two Liverpool third uh, and then Manchester United fourth and then he's got Leicester in fifth Spurs sixth and he's stuck Arsenal all the way down in ninth so one above early 96 Z's prediction but at the bottom of the table he's got Norwich Southampton and Watford as uh, LE96 I didn't really say too much about his but he's gone with Southampton at the bottom Watford and then Newcastle he's actually put Norwich 15th 
uh, there as well, um, which is quite a surprise as the other two people have predicted Norwich as bottom so far. But moving on next, we're going to go into GM plays, also known as George's prediction, and then we'll finish it off with my prediction. So this is what George has predicted. Okay, so I woke up today to a very lovely message from a very lovely person asking me to give a Premier League prediction. Now, right off the bat, I know what you might be thinking. Just what the fuck does a Canadian know about the Premier League? But guys, trust me, I've been playing FIFA for a very long time. I'm basically a professional in this field. So I've compiled a list from first all the way down to 20th on who I think is going to place where in the Premier League. Now straight away, I do just want to say, I know that this is a lot of people's lives and they are very proud of their teams. So if I put your team in a spot that you don't agree with, I'm sorry, but you're wrong. So I'm very briefly going to explain the bottom four, which was actually harder for me to list than the top four for some reason. Coming in in dead last, I've gone with Norwich. I know this is weird considering they topped the championship to qualify for the Premier League this season, but they've lost their best player. They've sold him to an actual another Premier League side and they've replaced him with who? I'm not really too sure. I know they've got Billy Gilmore in on loan which seems like a good move, but again, it's just, that's not enough. They're looking at getting Josh Sargent from Werder Bremen, who just got relegated in the Bundesliga, so I'm not too sure why they'd want to bring him in. But again, it's just the players they've got, the players they've signed, I don't think that it's going to be enough to keep them in the Premier League. And they are also notorious for yo-yoing in and out of the Premier League. Next up, I've gone with Watford. Again, surprising because they were second in the championship to get promoted. Again, I just think it's a case of they don't have the players that they need to be able to stay in the Premier League. You look at some of the clubs around them, they've got better players, more promising players, and also they look like they're in the right way of signing players to keep them in the Premier League. And as the final relegated team, I've gone with Crystal Palace. I believe they've mutually agreed slash sacked their manager from last season. Uh, it looks like they're bringing in Frank Lampard. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Uh, which could be a bit of a risk as, as much as I do love the man, but I don't think they've got a good squad. It doesn't look like they've signed too many players either. I don't think it's too far-fetched to say they won't get relegated, but I also don't think it's too far-fetched to say that they will. And then the team narrowly escaping out on relegation for me is Brentford. I know that one is probably the biggest surprise of the whole thing because they only qualified through, I think they finished third or something last season. Yeah, so they finished third last season, which I think puts them in the playoff, and then they won the playoffs. But they've got some very nice, young, exciting players that I think could go either way. They could light up the Premier League, or they could also flop as well. So it kind of goes either way with them. They could just as easily get relegated, but I also could see them narrowly escaping relegation. Moving on to my top four, I have gone with Manchester City to win the league again. It looks like they're getting Harry Kane. They've already signed Jack Grealish. Yes, they did lose Aguero, but is that really enough to slow them down? The answer is definitely not. Luckily, all the other teams around them do seem to be building as well for a bigger and better season, and I think it's going to be a lot tighter than it was last season, but I still do think they are the best team in the league by quite a bit, and they are also signing the best striker in the league. Well, it looks like they're signing the best striker in the league. Second to fourth now, I think you guys could rearrange these in any order, and I wouldn't have too much of a problem with it. I'm going to back my team, though, and I'm going to say Chelsea to finish second. We've just signed Lukaku, well, pretty much all but signed Lukaku, which was our big problem last season, and we still managed to win the Champions League, so we've now gone to out-and-out -out goal scorer, a lot of creativity in midfield. We're very strong defensively under Thomas Tuchel as well, a brilliant keeper in Edouard Mendy, and I just think it's looking very, very good for Chelsea, and I honestly wouldn't be surprised. It would be a very Chelsea thing to do to just win the Premier League next season, but... I think it's hard to make a case for that when City have got Grealish, Kane, De Bruyne, and just so many more players. Next up, third place, I'm going to go with Liverpool. Liverpool honestly could have won the league last season if they hadn't fumbled their start as bad as they did because they were playing insanely well towards the end of the season. And I still think they're going to play like that this season, but I do just think that teams around them have all gotten so much stronger as well that I don't think it's going to matter too much in the bigger picture. And then fourth place, I've gone with Manchester United. This team, technically a downgrade from the second they got last season, but I do think that they've just strengthened their squad so much. I just think, again, last season was more so a case of the teams around them not being up to par. So Manchester United got to capitalize on that. But now they are building a very scary squad. And I think within the next season or two, you could see them win a Premier League title. Rafael Varane, Jadon Sancho, Paul Pogba already there, Bruno Fernandes already there. 
get a long-term striker in there as well, and that team could be a serious problem in the Premier League for all teams involved. Really briefly, UEFA Europa League spot have actually gone and given it to Leicester again. I know they've been knocking on the door for Champions League for two seasons in a row, and they seem to be choking it at the end constantly. But I think this season they're going to get it as long as they keep a hold of Madison. Honestly, if James Madison goes to the sixth place team that I've got, which is Arsenal, I think that would easily be Arsenal getting Europa League and then obviously Leicester dropping down to sixth. But as things stand for Arsenal, they just haven't addressed the glaring problem in that team, which is creativity in the midfield. They spent 50 million on Ben White. They won't be playing in any Europe, so they can't strictly focus on the league and cup runs, but I just don't think the current squad they've got is enough to facilitate a strong league and cup run. So those are pretty much my predictions. Let me know what you guys think of them. And uh, yeah, go, go place your bets on these, these exact predictions. There we are, and that is what George has predicted. Man City to win the league. Again, all four people so far have put Manchester City to win the league. George has stuck Chelsea second, which is the team he supports. Liverpool third and Manchester United fourth. So slightly different um, there. Similar to John's, in fact, the exact same top four as John. Leicester fifth. Everyone so far has stuck Leicester in fifth place. Arsenal sixth and then Spurs seventh. So he's the first person to put Arsenal inside of the top six, which is a bit of a surprise, I'm not going to lie. Uh, he did mention as well, if Arsenal do manage to sign Madison, maybe they can slip up into fifth place. But George, we have to talk about uh, the fact that you uh, you said um, Frank Lampard was the manager when it's actually Patrick Vieira, mate. So we'll have to, we'll have to have words about that one later. And then his bottom three again, Norwich at the bottom, Watford and Crystal Palace. First person to put Crystal Palace going down. But let's move on now into my predictions and I've not followed everyone else. I've gone slightly different at the top of the table. Uh, I've not gone with Manchester City, but we'll go with the relegated teams first. And we're going to start off within 20th place. Again, quite a similar theme here. Four out of the five have done it. And that is Norwich. I just think they're going to go down. They're such a yo-yo team. They're up and down, up and down all the time. I never really rate them and they tend to get smashed quite a lot. It's actually one of the few teams when Arsenal do play, I feel quite comfortable. Um, which I don't actually get to say about many teams in recent times. Uh, but I do think Norwich will go back down, whether it will be last or one of the bottom th uh, or second or third bottom, I'm not too sure. But I do believe Norwich will come bottom of the league. Moving forward then, we do have Watford. And again, four of the five people have put Watford second bottom. I just don't think they got what it takes to stay up. I kind of hope they do, you know, but I don't think they will. I wasn't a massive fan of Watford, but now obviously... Watford now have got um, Cycling GK putting out the vlogs and I really do like the, the vlogs. I can't lie, they're absolutely class uh, and I am a massive fan of them. But um, I don't think they'll stay up. I kind of hope they do. I'd love to see uh, a GoPro behind the goal at Arsenal Games. Whether we'd actually manage to score or not uh, is the other side of things at the moment. But moving forward, I'm the only one to put them in the bottom three and that is Burnley. Can the shithouse football stay up? Probably, but I kind of hope not. This is more of a hope. Uh, than me thinking they're going to go down, but I have put them there. I hope they do finish bottom three, I can't lie. Not a massive fan of them. I just, I think it's their time to go now. Give someone else a chance uh, in the Prem and hopefully Burnley go down and just missing out, and I mean just missing out, will be Southampton. This could go down to the wire, this one. There's a few teams that go down. Brentford could potentially go down as well. I put them in 16th um, to hopefully start for them, but Southampton, they're selling everyone at the minute and they're linked with Ward Prowse leaving now as well. They've had Vestergaard go. Danny Ings, it's going to be a struggle for them uh, to even stay up. But I think they might just nick it. I kind of hope Burnley go down. I, I think, to be honest, Sam Falcon's probably more likely to go down. But I've stuck Burnley there just because I'd rather they go down. But moving up now, and I'm going to start from seventh place here. A little bit different to everyone else, but that's just purely because um, why not? Uh, I'll start Leicester in seventh. Slightly different. Everyone else has them in fifth. I just have a feeling, and I've done this purely off the James Madison signings, similar to what George just said. I got a weird feeling we might nick him. I don't know though, because there's actually a few links recently saying it's less less likely. Uh, if we do spend 30 million on Ramsdale, as John touched on, I might actually cry myself to sleep at night. Um, not that he's that bad. He's just not 30 million, let's be honest. Especially with Onana available now, apparently for six or seven million. We can get Awa for 20 million. Uh, we just need to throw the money at these. 26 million, you can get Awa and Onana. And then just go and sign Madison, please. And get a right back as well. Uh, Please, Arsenal, do something. But uh, moving in, sixth place, I have put Arsenal. Um, same as George. Um, even though he said with the signing of Madison, we'd probably go to fifth. I don't believe the team's ready yet. We haven't got a play style and we're just not scoring goals. We really do need that creative midfielder. Um, something's not happening at the minute. We put cross after cross in and none of our forwards are really 
one of the ones. We haven't got Olivier Giroud anymore. If we had Olivier Giroud in this team, he'd be finishing these crosses off, I'm not going to lie. But Aubameyang and Lacazette, they're not exactly getting on the end of the crosses, um, so it's not ideal for us. Moving forward, though, in fifth place, I have put Spurs. This hurts me to say. I do believe they're going to keep hold of Harry Kane at the minute, just because the news is dying down, although I did see something earlier. Apparently, Man City line up a €150 million uh, Euro bid for Harry Kane, which would be pretty mad, and I think Tottenham would accept it then. Even then, I just think we're a bit off the pace at the minute. Um, hopefully, I'm wrong on that one. Most people have said to me, actually, well, not most people, a good few people have said to me, I think Arsenal are going to finish ahead of Spurs this year, but I'm really not sure on it. I just don't think we're there. And I think even putting us out of Leicester is a bit of a, a bit of a mad one, but I just can see it happening, uh, especially if they don't um, keep Madison. If they do keep Madison, then they probably do push up my list. My list is based on the fact that Spurs keep Harry Kane and Leicester lose Madison. That's what my list is based off. Into the top four now. And this could change slightly, um, mainly between third and fourth and second and first. Uh, they're my main changes. So in fourth place, I have put Manchester United. I do believe they will finish fourth. Um, I think they're a good side under Oli. I don't think he's the right man for the job, to be completely honest. I know he's doing great with them, but I think if they had a world-class manager, they could win the league. Um, but at the minute, they don't have that. Uh, and that is why I have put them fourth, especially with the other teams. Liverpool coming back, Van Dijk getting back into the squad. Uh, I just think Liverpool are going to be a bit more dangerous than they were last season. That's not great for my phone alarm to go off there. But in third place, I have got Liverpool. I think these two could even change around quite easily. Um, and I think that's the most likely thing to happen there. And then into second place, I have gone with Manchester City. Slightly different to everyone else. Chelsea winning the Champions League. I feel like it's giving them a massive boost. Obviously, Man City have signed Jack Grealish. I just think they're that striker away from bringing it back to back. And it's always harder to win the league back to back uh, than it is just the first season, as people do say. And I think Chelsea are just about going to manage to nick the title. I think bringing in Romelu Lukaku is a great signing for them, uh, especially with T Timo Werner. I think he got some, I, I think positioning, Timo Werner is probably the best striker in the Premier League in the positions he gets himself into. Finishing, absolutely not. Like, Werner gets himself in such great positions if you actually watch Chelsea. It's just he lets himself down when it comes to the final thing. Um, and I think that's what Lukaku is going to add to Chelsea. I think they did overspend on him. But at the end of the day, if he helps them win the league, is it really overspending? Probably not. But personally, maybe just a bit overspending. But they are the predictions. What I didn't mention, though, guys, is whoever's prediction was the best out of all of us at the end of the season, I am going to give away a copy of the new FIFA 2. Obviously, there's a while till that happens. Um, but when we get back to this video, whoever has the best prediction, I will pay for one of their subscribers to get a copy of FIFA 23. Obviously, that is miles away. But you guys can look forward to that, I guess. But please do subscribe if you are new around here. Thank you to everyone that has hopped in today's video. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.